Huddersfield, who I do want to talk to you about in a few minutes, two from two. So it's kind of been a really interesting first couple of weeks. Yeah, I, I haven't seen much of them over the, the last few years. There, I saw them, I think, the year before last. I think they were playing Manchester City or Manchester United, I think, in a cup match. And they were very good. Uh, uh, very good in terms of well organised, mm. uh, good work ethic. And I didn't see much of them last year playing, but obviously they got promotion. And uh, he's done a great job at the club. I mean, uh, Huddersfield are very great traditional club. Would, would they have been the the kingpins maybe isn't the right word but the biggest club in Yorkshire when, when you arrived at Leeds no. despite the fact that both clubs were in Division 2 at both, the time? Both teams were in Division 2 uh, but they had been a great club mm. they had a history Leeds had no history uh, and there was there was a very close local rivalry there and uh, the, the I think what happened with the Huddersfield they hated Leeds Leeds United they saw us as upstarts because they had the tradition behind them. I mean, now going back a long time, they won the they won three, the, in, three, a three in, in a row in the twenties, and they'd like to Bill yeah. Shankly, Dennis Law. Yeah, well, they didn't. They were they were, they were in the second division then, but uh, but they had a great history. Uh, Huddersfield and my time now as a kid, going up in the, in the you know, late forties, early fifties, they used to finish third, fourth in the mm. league. They were they were a big. They were the big team in Yorkshire. Well, along Sheffield Wednesday was a big team, but Leeds were nothing. Leeds were up in the first division maybe for two seasons, mostly down in the second division. So there was great rival when we played Huddersfield because we were the upstarts and we were actually doing well. Uh, so there was there was huge rivalry between. But they had the, the history behind them, there's no doubt. And uh, they, 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 they got promotion last year and you could see the supporters, you know, very well supported team, although they've been haven't been in the top division for I think 20 odd years it's longer than that but all the way back to 19, the early 1970s yeah 71, 72 yeah. so I, well I guess maybe they, they were able to rekindle that rivalry in the last few years with both teams playing in the championship I just yes. wonder what sort of level it's at now yeah but they were they were the team for a long time uh, in the Leeds because it's only 20 minutes up the road from Leeds but they were they dominated for a long time Certainly Leeds United, they dominated Leeds United because Leeds were mostly in the second division when they were doing well in the first division. So it was a great, but they, they certainly looked good and well organised. I, I saw one of the matches that they won uh, last week and they were very, very good. Against Newcastle? Against Newcastle. Yeah, yeah well, Newcastle, well Newcastle a bit of a shambles, unfortunately, because a lot of trouble there, as we can see with Benitez. He's not getting the players he wanted and all the various things, things he was promised that he says he didn't get. And uh, I think Newcastle will be in trouble this year. To start with six points from your first two games, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be staying up. Obviously, no. a whole won their first couple of games last season and ultimately they didn't stay up. But you couldn't ask for a, a better beginning when you're trying to get players who have been successful in the championship but maybe might not believe in their own minds that they're good enough to play at that level. No, no, it's, it's, it's a, it, <laughs> there's nothing better than winning, Dave, as we know. And it gets them six points. Uh, we've seen other teams, as you say, come up and they go six, seven matches and haven't got six points. So it gives them a good start. And everybody's at, at that at that club and that level is looking for the 40 points, you know. And to get the 40 points, he couldn't have got a better start. And that's all you can go on. You know, the fact that they've got six points is very, very good. I mean, they went to, uh, was it Crystal Palace, the, the, mm. the first match? And won comfortably. And won comfortably against a team that people would say had finished well last season, a lot of good players. You wouldn't have put them down for a win. <laughs> on the pools by any means and, oh. and they won and good luck to him the coach is good he talks sense when I've heard him they're very positive in what they do and when we have the ball we're going to have a go when we lose it we're going to do our best to get it back and uh, it's, it's very basic stuff but you have to get the players uh, to do what he, what he wants them to do and they're, they're doing it and no, a manager can't do any more than that when, you, when Leeds came up how long was it before you, everybody started to believe that, you know, we are actually meant to be playing at this level, we've nothing to fear? Well, I think what, when you come up as, as a second, now I remember coming up with Leeds second division, but first of all, there's a fear factor in it, which is very good for you. You can't be too big-headed. You can't be say mm. we did it last year. It's your first season. And luckily enough, we had a very, very good group of players and we got a great start. Great start. And if you go back on Leeds, say, in the first year, we finished runners-up to Manchester United. We were beaten by Liverpool in the cup final. So it was an unbelievable start for a team that was just, just promoted. And in fact, it was the first time a team had got, I think it was 60 points or more, that didn't win the league. You know, so we challenged Manchester United. Actually, we knocked Manchester United out of the semi-final of the Cup that year. That was in 1965. So the start that Leeds had coming up from nowhere was incredible. Mm. You know, when you see coming up, teams coming up today, if they, if they stay in the Premiership, they're doing well. Some of them do a bit better, but that's the main main goal. You're used to we, winning, we, though, we aren't were, you? But we were the same. We, we thought, oh, God, this is really hard stuff. We'll be, we, we're up there to survive. Uh, and the, 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 that, that's a help. Like, you can get the second season blues 
for teams who promote it because they think they've done well. We, we didn't as well, do well in the second second uh, year in the first first division as we did in the first because you lose that fear factor a bit. You know, we're not we're not scared of these teams. We can compete with them, but the fear factor is great. I think in the first season, mm. if the teams teams are good enough. But well, there's no surprise package either in the second season. People have had plenty of time to figure you out. Yeah, well, it, I think it's more the the mentality of the players than the opposition. You lose the fear factor, you know, because you say, well, we, we played in the first division last year. I'm not going about. I'm talking about Leeds United and our players. And it's not a conscious thing. You don't talk about losing it, but it's just it's just normal that if you go up to the first division, Manchester United, Arsenal, all these top teams. Jeez, we're playing against these teams. Fear factor is great. Second division, say, well, we don't fear them as much because we did that last season. So you lose that. You lose that little bit that makes a huge difference to it. Were you the kind of a player that would hit the ground running in the first couple of weeks of the season or would it take you a little bit of time to feel your way into the new oh, campaign? No, 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 you could go. No, I think if you do your pre-season training, that's what that's for. You play a certain amount of matches uh, in in the pre pre season, so you should be ready for the you know, when the first match comes along. I always enjoyed the first match. It was it was new. The pitches were good. Don't forget, the pitches weren't always good in those <laughs> days. So the pitches used to be good from the start of the season up to say late September, or October, when the rains came, and then there was no drainage on the grounds, and the pitches got heavy. You had to put up with that. But the the the, the first season was 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 a joy to play in. Uh, because the pitches were good. But I never felt with any team that I played, none of the players, I, and myself included, that you had to get into it like three or four matches. You had to get into it straight away. But you'd had the pre You see, you'd had about four or five pre-season friendly matches. That's what they were for. And then you were into the real stuff. So you had to be ready for it. So there was no holding back in the pre-season friendlies? You oh, guys no. Were just oh, no, no, no. You had to... Well, funny enough, with, uh, with Don Reavy, uh, look, we, we stayed... We can, they could do it then. We played local matches. You hear the, the lads complain now they're going to America, South America, they're travelling all that. That's not good preparation. Mm. It's actually bad preparation. And we used to play, say, Bradford, uh, you know, local teams, teams you'd be expected to beat, uh, and nothing at stake. It was a fitness thing. The, the lads would get stuck into you, you know, there was, there was tough matches. But you were staying local, there was no travelling. Uh, there was no money involved in it. Like, man, you and I have to go to where China and all the various yeah. places. The top Jose teams Mourinho go. was bemoaning last season. Well, he's right. It's, it's, that's not good preparation, you know. The preparation was ideal. Stay lo- locally, play teams in, in your, your vicinity, which we did, uh, in friendly matches. Um, so then you were ready for the start of the season. Start of the season. 